Hello everyone, this is Jarena here again. I am here another week with the Thankful Thursday. Last week I did a video, some of you may have seen that, on Thankful Thursday. And basically what I did was I shared several Christian content creators that have been a blessing to me, basically in sharing the truth of scripture. And they've basically encouraged me along the way because I'm a new Christian content creator and they have just, you know, done something, some kindness that they that they expressed to me that was encouraging to me. And so I shared that last Thursday. This Thursday, I am wanting to share the rest of them I wanted to share <laughs> because uh, last week, I believe my video was about 45 minutes and I really don't like to do really long videos because, you know, just don't want to do that. Try to keep it under an hour. So I thought I would share the rest of them on this video. So um, so once again, I'm going to share those and want to say this. I think I mentioned this on the last video that God is love, right? And so anytime someone loves us, that is the love of God emanating through them. Okay. So, and then here's the thing. Scripture says that love rejoices in the truth. All right. So listen, when someone tells you the truth, that is love. All right. So I'm really excited to share these Christian content creators with you guys because they tell the truth about our Lord. And we need to know our Lord, right? Our creator. And so I want to share that. And um, so let's check them out. These, they are amazing Christian content creators. They have been such a blessing to me. So, and why are they amazing? Because they share the truth about scripture. All right, let's check them out. All right, so we are going to start with G. My Joe. All right, G. My Joe, keeping it real. You see that in faith and truth. She has a lot of great content on here where she is addressing even, you know, like just the mainstream topics of the day and she addresses them according to scripture. Uh, she also, uh, let's see, oh, th there's a video on here that she did. Her and um, April Chapman did this right here that says, When does life begin. They did an excellent, excellent job on that. Women and men too, please check that video out. Uh, you know, we are in this day and age where people are trying to justify, uh, you know, the murder of, of an unborn child. Uh, like what is it? I think it was President Reagan said that it's funny that everybody that's, uh, you know, fighting for uh, pro-choice have been born. Isn't that something? So those that are fighting for abortions, they themselves have been born. Something to think about. But at any rate, I encourage you to check her out. She does a great job on here. And she is so, she presents the truth of scripture in love. And there's a statement that she made, and I'm paraphrasing on one of her videos. She has said that, uh, you know, we have to remember the fact that we were also once young and we were, it took us some time, you know, to come to Christ and to, to surrender to him and all that. And sometimes us believers can kind of want people to blink right, you know, instead of understanding that the Lord is the one who's doing the work and he does it in his time. So, uh, and you know, to be patient with people. And I, when I heard her say that, I was thinking, yeah, I, I need to, you know, get better with that. So I appreciate her. And also now I understand that this is not a church. This is a social media platform, but I want to acknowledge the fact that she presents a very good example of what it says in Titus, you know, in the book of Titus, where it says that, uh, the older women teach the young women. She does a great job at that. And I really appreciate her. I've learned so much from her. Um, and I believe she said that she started her channel when she was 64 years old. And if I'm wrong, she, if she sees this, she can, uh, correct me in the comment section, but isn't that amazing that she started that? I think she said at 64. Um, and I just think that's so amazing because look at her design here. She does a great job and her content is totally on point. And I know she said that she uses resources, but still, I think she does a great job and she provides a good example of how, you know, as years go by, sometimes we think, well, time's up, you know, but she lets us know, you know what? You be a good steward over your life at whatever point you're in. All right. Give God the glory with your life. So she's doing just that. So I appreciate her and 
she's been such an encouragement to me. There was a video I did, uh, um, and I wasn't happy with the 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 way that the the design the, <laughs> the design the design came out. I did a uh, screen share. I was doing a review of Romans one, and the screen share was terribly small. It was even smaller than this one. And you know, she commented on that video and said that she appreciated me sharing my heart about this and sharing you know the sticking to the truth of scripture. And I thought, wow, well that was encouraging. I'm glad that that came across. I was over here all worked up about the way the presentation was. So I guess I was concerned about the wrong thing. See that? So I appreciate her for that. And uh, she's just, she's so cool. I, I really do appreciate what she does on here. She does a great job. So check her out. Women, especially, I know everybody, but you know, I just think that she provides a good example for us women too. Okay. So check her out. Great job. Now we're going to go to, um, Rick Caldwell. All right, Rick Caldwell. I believe it's uh, Caldwell Apologetics. Yeah. So, oh my goodness, he he does a great job on his channel. I'm telling you. So I am so appreciative for him in that, you know, he really takes out time and teaches scripture, like like teaching. Like you go to his channel and listen to his the stuff that he has on here. It's like you're in a, a conference, really. He does a really, really good job. And so we really do appreciate him. And he does some sessions where it's like an um, interactive kind of session where you it's engaging. He's asking questions and things like that. I mean, one time I was looking up stuff and doing all that when I was listening to it. So I've learned a lot from him and I appreciate him. Now, I want to say this. I said this before that all the resources on here, this is supplemental. All of us true believers, we should all belong to a church, right? But this right here is just additional resources for us. And it's just, you know, once again, another means to seek the face of God, to hear from God, because we want to grow in grace and knowledge of God. So we want to hear from him all the time, right? So that's what that, that's what um, Rick Caldwell presents here. And so we really, we really appreciate him. He does a great job. You should check him out. You may already know about him though, but check him out. All right. He does an excellent, excellent job. All right. And then any of you out there that may be trying to, you know, you, you're seeking the truth. He does great job. He did. Oh, he did a really good job on the um, topic of the Trinity. He did a video with um, Jason um, Whitaker with Dear World Christian Channel and his pastor. They did an excellent job. And that video might be on here. I wonder is that video on here? Uh, I don't know if I see it. But at any rate, um, so, but he also teaches about the Trinity on his channel. So it's, this is a really good resource. You want to get to know the Lord more. You want to understand what salvation is about all that. Check him out. He does a great job. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, now let's see. Oh, proverbial life. That was another one. Okay. What am I doing? All right. So this is proverbial life and I believe his name is Edwin and I, and I believe he is a pastor as well once again he does a great job on this channel he shares the truth about the Lord and and you know he's a pastor so if you are looking for a home church and you can't find one in your area he presents a good example of you know if you want to know what a church should look like what is this all about? You know, you need to check out his his uh, uh, stuff here. And also, you might could even send him a message or something. And he can, I don't know, instruct you on what, where to go or possibly give you some resource. He, he may be able to do that. You can comment on one of his videos or what have you. But he does a really good job with sharing the truth of Scripture. And that's what I'm just so, I'm so happy for that. And he keeps it, he keeps it all the way Christ centered. Okay. There's no adding to the Lord. None of that business, nothing, no taking away, none of this extraness. He doesn't do any of that. He sticks to the word of God. So he does a great job. I've enjoyed a lot of his content and just, you know, his, his truthfulness. And like I said, at the beginning of this, I said, you know, if somebody tells you the truth, that is love. All right. And he did one, oh, speaking of that, there was one on here that he did about suffering. Uh, it was about cheap, uh, cheap grace versus uh, where is that at? Okay. So I believe it was this one. Um, hmm. It was one on suffering and just talking about the life of the believer and how we should respond as believers in times of suffering. And, you know, this is not about just having a, a great time in his life that that's not, that's not what this is about. But anyway, he goes into more detail and I just, 
I ask you to check him out. He does a great job. I appreciate him. He does well. And then let me see who is the next one. Um, oh, K Dub, Chris. Let's see. Um, all right. Why am I not finding him? See that? <laughs> okay. So let's see. Uh, hmm. I think I have him on here. I'm sure I do. Okay, I'm taking all day. This is what happens. This space is no good when you're trying to do a video. Okay, so, okay, Dub, true, actually. That's the part I didn't put in there. See that? Okay, so, uh, let's see. Now, so this is K Dub, and he's, he, you know, he really, he does a great job. And, you know, he's a young guy. I don't know exactly how old he is, but he seems pretty young. And, you know, it's always nice when you see young people telling the truth about the Lord. It's so encouraging. So I would advise you to check him out. He does an excellent job. And one of the things he does is he points out error a lot. And I know a lot of times people get upset, I guess, with people that point out error, but stop it. Listen, we should be glad when somebody points out error, because when you point out error, then what do you do? You point out what is true. Do you see that? So uh, I really appreciate him and the work that he does, does on here. He does an excellent, excellent job. He always keeps it scripture. You see, he doesn't add to, he doesn't take away. He always keeps it that way. And, all, and by the way, all these people I, I'm mentioning, they do not come and try to present themselves. Now I understand what I'm saying. Our self is being presented, right? As we're, you know, um, delivering what we're delivering, right? We're standing here or sitting here. But he doesn't try to promote himself, per se. He is all about sharing the truth of Scripture. He does a great job at that. And like I said, he points out error. And we want to know what is not right. We want to know that. And by the way, there's no such thing as that everybody's right, everybody believes their way, and then we're going to all kumbaya to the Lord. It's not true. It's a lie. Okay? None of that is noted in Scripture. The Lord says that I am the truth, the way, and the life. See that? So anyway... Just check him out. He does an excellent, excellent job. And he also has some merch that he has. He, he does a great job. You, you could probably see all that on his channel. And I'm going to link everybody's channel in the description below. So, yeah. K-Dub, K-Dub True. He does a great job. His name is, I believe his name is Chris. Excellent work on here. God glorifying. I really appreciate him. Okay. Now, this is Montana Viking. Hopefully, I get everything typed up right. Okay, so there he is. See this, the beard guy. <laughs> He's another young one that just tells the truth about the Lord. It's just so exciting. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, well, you know, I have kid, my, I have adult children. Uh, and I always, when I see young people, I'd be like, oh, I'm, you know, happy for them that they're, that they're walking with the Lord. So anyway. He's another one that will point out error, but there's this other thing he does is he has these sermon jams that he have on his channel. Oh my goodness, they're so good. So good. They're so doctrinally sound and just uh, full of uh, foundational uh, principles of salvation. It's just awesome. You need to check out his channel. He does a great, great job. Um, and like I said, he sticks to the truth and, and he's, like I said, he's a young guy. So it's, it's, uh, it's very encouraging to see him share the word of God. And then him and um, Daryl King, I mentioned last week, him and Daryl King, they have a um, show that they do on here, which is really good too. They do an excellent job. And once again, it's Christ-centered and they, they also like socialize and, you know, talk about um, current events and, and they talk about it and then they, they address it as it relates to scripture. What does the Lord say about these things? You know what I mean? So they do a good job. So anyway, check him out. Check him out. He's doing a great work on there. So you will be happy. And like I said, all of this is supplemental stuff. But like I said, we have all these voices in our that's coming at us, you know, in society and culture and all that. We might want to connect ourselves to a source that is that we will receive the word of God. You see what I mean? We want to hear from him. All right. So check him out. And then let's see who is who is next. Oh, oh, Richard. That's right. I almost forgot about Richard. Okay, so Richard Contra Mundrum, Mun, Mundum, that's what it says. <laughs> okay, so he does a great job. And I believe Richard is a pastor too, if I'm not mistaken. So he, once again, great content, great content. 
he also he points out error too on his channel as well and he addresses current events in the culture you know that we live in that's going on and he addresses it as it relates to scripture what does the lord have to say about these things and we need to know what the lord says about it right we don't want to just be consumed with the with the things that's going on in the world and we're not um seeking out what does god say about it so check him out he does a great job on his channel he did a um review on this issue right here and it was just you know it was a review on the issue of you know how those of us that are believers and you know how you hear about a professing christian that has fallen in some type of gross sin right and while we can you know talk about that person what have you but what we should consider is examining our own hearts right and seeking the face of god to keep us in his way and being sure that as we live our lives what are we doing are we doing things to uh, put ourselves in position to make room for the flesh you know what i mean so he kind of hits on that on this video right here um he titled it um i was wrong so check that out he did a great job on that review and he, he's he's got a lot of good content on here he he's he does very very well i really appreciate him and like i said all these christian content creators they tell the truth about scripture and that's the whole point so i'm very encouraged by them so yep check him out he is doing a great great work and like i said this is all stuff and like a, he's a pastor so if you're um in search of a church and all that you know some of this stuff on here you can kind of get an idea of what you should be looking for you see that when you go to a church what type of pastor what is you know they're teaching and all that type of stuff so this would be a good resource for you so check them out um and then let's see i did i'm getting off okay so oh yeah g220 he's another one he's pretty good um i've seen a few of his and i think i should have put see i've got to get it together it's taking all day okay mm, i'm still not finding him what's happening here hmm. what am i doing wrong Okay, so, um, well, G220 Ministries, I don't know why, probably should have went to my, sorry, what's happening? I hate when I have this space on a video, because that's how people, walk. well, you know, actually, this is not, this is not live. So you can just uh, fast forward my uh, slowness here and you'll be all right. So for some reason, I am not finding him. So I guess I'm going to have to look in the, uh, uh, and I made a mistake and went to his. Okay, so let's see. G220. Um, yeah, you guys can fast forward through my slowness. There he is. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so G220 Ministries proclaiming the gospel of Christ. He's another one that does a great job. He has been doing several uh, videos on this whole abortion business and uh, you should check him out. You know, uh, us women really need to seek the Lord on that. Okay. And uh, acknowledge our creator. But at any rate, we won't get into all that. But so he's another one that points out error too. And uh, he talks about, like I said, the day that we live in, the culture, all that business, what's going on in this life right now and what the Lord says about that. What does scripture say? What should we do? How should we respond as believers? And, you know, those those people that, that may be out there that's unbelievers, you get to see and hear what the truth is about a given topic. Okay. So he does a really good job. I appreciate him too. I've been encouraged by a lot of his content. So check him out. G2 20 ministries. And that, that actually the name of it, I believe it comes from Galatians 2 20, which is one of my absolute favorite scriptures. So check him out. Um, all right. Now, what is the next one? Oh, recognize was another one. I've seen his stuff. Now, hopefully he comes right up. All right. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there he is. All right. So and he's another one. He looks like a young guy too. I'm, I'm always happy for 
well, I'm happy for everybody, you know, that follows Christ. But, you know, when you see really young guys, you're like, oh, that's so good. It's a good, you know, example because, you know, our, not to say our younger generation is the only generation that's, you know, but <laughs> they're doing the most here lately. So I'm happy to see young people following Christ and leading the way and the Lord using them to um, share the gospel. So he does this where he addresses a lot of current events. And he basically addresses it as it relates to scripture. He has a lot of great content on here. He does a great job. Look at this. Christians don't, Christians just don't think the Bible is useful for today. You see that? See, this, the scripture is applicable, you know, all throughout. So, but check him out. He does really good content, like I said, and it's all Christ centered. And, um, you know, like, I think I mentioned this, I'm probably repeating myself, but there's a lot that goes on in the, in our day, right? And everybody is is on, not everybody, but most people is on this, I live my way, I believe my way, you believe your way business. Well, you know what? He's got a lot of content on here to address current events as it relates to scripture, what the Lord says about those things and how we should respond as believers. And if there's unbelievers coming across this, what the Lord is commanding of you which is he's commanding that we repent and turn to him and follow him okay but anyway check him out i think it's recognize i think it's recognized i think i'm saying that right if i'm not maybe if he sees this he can correct me all right in the comments okay so check his channel out he's doing a great job now let's see the next one is somebody for christ that was another one somebody for Christ. All right. Oop. Hopefully he comes up. Oh, there he is. He's a good one. He's another one doing an excellent, excellent work on here. Now, like I said before, so he is one too that points out error. And I like I think I mentioned this before. Sometimes people don't like people that points out error. But you might want to like people that do that. You know why? Because then, not only now, he doesn't, they don't just point out error, but he also, in pointing out error, he points to what is true, which is found in scripture. Okay? He does a great job on that. Uh, current events, issues that we are facing in this life right now. He shows us what the scriptures say. You know, all the, you know, there's false teachers out there. There just is. And we got to be aware of these wolves. So he points out that error and he does a great job. So uh, check him out. He's doing a great work. And I think he's a young dude too. And so I'm so happy for him that he's uh, being used by God in this way. So check him out. All right. So let's see who is next. I want to get through all these before I hate to do like a hour video taking up people's time. <laughs> okay, so the next one is, oh, Restoring Heroes. He's another one. Restoring Heroes. He, I'm going to say this about him. Let's see, Project. Is that right? Okay, so let me tell you. I think his name is James, I think. So at any rate, this is what he does on his channel. And he seemed like a young dude too. I'm so happy. And look at what it says. Lead your family. Slay the dragons. Obey Christ. I like that. That's pretty cool. So what he does is one of the main things I see that he puts an effort into encouraging men to be men as noted in scripture. The Lord's design. What does the Lord say a man is? He does a great job on that. And I just really appreciate him. You know, I'm a person where I was not, when I was raised in a single parent home. So I, I didn't ever really get to know my father. So I appreciate what he does here because I'm, I hope for everybody else that, you know, the Lord would be gracious in that way that they would have a father and that men coming up, you know, the, the boys and the men and all that, that's, that's rising up now that they would look to see what the Lord says and, and surrender to his design in regards to men. So that's what he does on here. He does a lot of that. He does a great job. I'm so happy for him. And so check him out. All right, guys, he can be a good, um, what I want to say, model for you, you know, as being men and boys and all that. All right. So check him out. And he keeps it all scripture, all Christ centered. It's not no, um, you know, uh, just be a good man of itself. You see what I mean? Because you want to have a, a, um, your, let's see, your model should be 
the word of God, okay? Not just to be a good man as far as in society, right? We want to go past that. All right, look and see what the Lord says. What is he calling us to be? So check him out. Restoring Heroes Project. James is the one that does that. He does it. He does an excellent job. I think that's James. <laughs> I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, then just correct me in comments and then I'll know that no, your name is not James. Okay. So all right, let's go to the next one. Now, oh, I see bottom line dad. The bottom line dad. Okay. So the bottom line dad, he's another one. He's he's such a he, he does such a great job. I'm so happy for him. So he also addresses current events topics. He also uh, acknowledges you know, when there's error and all that. And he keeps it Christ-centered. And he just seemed like really a, a, a good dude, you know, a cool dude, you know. Uh, and so at any rate, I just want to mention him as well. Check out his content. Uh, he keeps it Christ-centered. And like I said, just the, the topics of the day. Like, you see, he did a review on what is a woman. <laughs> I cannot believe what, where this world has come to that we plan like we don't know what a woman is. It's a shame, isn't it? So anyway, here to review on that and uh, telling us what the Lord says. What, what is the Lord's design? What did the Lord define a woman as? Yeah, he, so he provided that. So you know, he did one on forgiveness. It's just he's doing a pretty good job. So check him out. He's doing well. And like I said, these are Christian content creators that keep it all the way Christ all day, every day. So this is why I am mentioning them. Now, the next one is, oh yeah, Jesus Geek. Jesus Geek is another one. And I think I missed someone. See, I need to get it together. So Jesus Geek, I believe he is actually a fairly new content creator like myself. And, but this guy, he does such a good job on here. I really, feel, he, when he shares his videos, you know, he, you could just tell that he is really wanting to get over to us, the Lord. You know what I mean? That is, that is his aim to really, truly share the truth about the Lord. And so I really appreciate his, uh, his, you know, his heart on that. So I am, you know, I encourage you guys to check him out. He's doing a good work on here. Uh, uh, look at this follow God not the world you see that one way you see that absolutely the Lord is the truth the way and the life and he's the only way right so check out his content he's doing a great job I I, I am really impressed with him I'm happy to to see him on here doing his thing so check him out Jesus geek all right and then um, let's see what was the next one um, <laughs> oh lion lion of fire and you may know lion of fire ministries i think he's actually well known on here let's see all right yeah him okay so yeah he's another one he does does a great job oh my goodness good work on here he's he really does and christ-centered all all christ-centered no adding to no taking away no you know because sometimes some Christ, some Christian stuff on here, there's still like this worldliness to it. He keeps it all the way 100 in regards to the Lord. And I'm just so happy that he does that. He does a great job. And he also uses a lot of, um, uh, what do I want to say, with, with his graphics, he has a lot of um, visualization that he uses. It makes you think about what he's saying. And so he does a great job. So check him out. Um, Good, good work on here very encouraging and even those that anybody out here that don't know the Lord you're seeking the Lord check him out all right you'll he'll he'll show you where Christ is for sure all right okay he, he's doing a great work on here check out his channel truth of scripture that's what he does let's see now I hope that I didn't oh yeah trust oh yeah trust God cry and repeat that's what that yep Trust God, cry and repeat. I'm a slow typer to get it together. All right. Okay. So she, this lady right here, aw, she's, I, I just, I have never, and even by the way, I've never met any of these Christian content creators, but when I, when I see their, their content on here and just kind of just get to kind of, you know, uh, 
see some something of his character of their seemingly character you know they seem so sweet so anyway she's one of those she seems like such a sweet lady and she just keeps it all the way 100 and she shared she was she's very transparent so a couple of times she shared kind of like her testimony her personal testimony and it was just so encouraging it just gives just helps us women especially to continue to trust God you know it just encourages you to do that to trust God in in difficult times and all that so she does a great job check out her content she is really doing good all right so check her out she keeps it christ-centered all day every day and it's all scripture no adding to it no doing that and also no promotion of any worldly type stuff you know what i'm saying this is all about a christ-centered life so check her out very encouraging she's doing a great 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 job I, I like the title of her uh that trust god cry repeat in it and it like that sometimes that's exactly what it is all right you know what i think i have went through all of them and i hope i didn't miss somebody because i'm gonna be oh there is one more see that get it together <laughs> ah, god's soldiers um god's soldier ministry i came across uh this guy uh that's not it here here he is right here okay and i believe uh he is a pastor as well oh my goodness he's always keeping it all the way 100 all the time he does such a great job i'm so happy for him and once again it's a young guy so i'm happy that he he's he's keeping it all the way 100 in regards to the lord he does a lot of teaching on here and like i said this is not to take place of anybody's church but this is supplemental resources that we can tap into to continue to hear from the lord and you know a source to draw closer to him you know because we want to grow in grace and the knowledge of god so he does a great job on here glorifying god keeping it all the way 100 addressing also the issues in the day that we live just various topics that he addresses and and he does so as it relates to scripture and giving god the glory okay so check him out god's soldiers ministries he's doing a great job all right i think that's all of them so check out these great christian content creators they are absolutely awesome and like i said i'm so happy for them because they keep it all the way 100 as it relates to scripture amen all right all right so that was great you know uh, i am so thankful for all of these christian content creators out here that are truly telling the truth about the Lord. So I thought, like I said, I would take out this time again on this thankful Thursday to say thank you for pointing us in the direction of Christ and for keeping it all the way 100 about the Lord. Thank you so much for doing that. And like I said before, listen, truth, truth, listen that truth, love actually rejoices in the truth. So when someone tells us the truth, that is love, all right? And in essence, the Lord is expressing his love to us through them, all right? So when you hear the truth, don't turn away from it. You might want to look up and say, thank you, Jesus, for bringing somebody to me to tell me the truth. So check out these Christian content creators. They are doing great things. And what I mean by great things is that they are surrendering to God and they're being honest about our Lord, which is so, so greatly appreciated. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for all you do on this YouTube uh, streets. We really do appreciate you. And thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section. And guess what? Listen, 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 listen to me. If you really want to be great, because you know, we live in the day and age of being great. How great can we be? If you want to be great, be servant of all. God bless.